In this exercise, we are going to create a simple shopping cart. Basically, we will simulate an online commerce system. Our product will be described by very simple objects, and we will have three tabs. As you can see on the first screenshot, one tab will be used to enter a mailing address and add the items to a shopping cart, and the other tab will display the order itself as well as the total cost, and the third tab will display the mailing label. So on the first screenshot, you can see that I ordered five total items and I entered my address there. When we move to the second tab, you can see the breakdown of all the items ordered and the total cost of the order. And on the third tab, we simply display the mailing label. So we will be interacting between each of these tabs and we will also do a little input control making sure that the user cannot enter the tabs if certain conditions were not met. For example, if the user did not make any order and tries to go to the second tab where it says the shopping cart, since there's no order, there's nothing to display, so we will display a message that no order was entered. And similarly, if the user does not enter the order address and goes to mailing label, then that tab will be disabled because there is no address, so we'll simply display a message informing the user that an address needs to be entered first. So we are going to be using objects for our products, and we will create an array of objects to work with this product and all the properties that we create. It's actually going to be only three properties. This is going to be fairly simple, but it will show us how to access these properties for each of these objects inside an array of these objects. So I hope you'll find this exercise interesting. Let's start coding.